we're going to do some examples of different quadratic models that can be solved using quadratic methods of solving. First problem we're going to do is has to do with revenue. Revenue is the amount of money that is brought in from selling a product. So it doesn't include um, cost and it is not the same thing as profit because profit is how much you make after you take the revenue and subtract your cost. Revenue is simply the money that's brought in. For example, if you were going to sell donuts for a dollar each and you had a dozen donuts, your revenue after selling all the donuts would be what about twelve dollars? That doesn't include the cost of paying four dollars at Walmart for the donuts before you sell them. Okay, so revenue is equal to price times the number of units sold. For example, twelve do donuts at a dollar each would be twelve dollars in revenue. Let's abbreviate this with just some variables. So R for revenue equals P for price times X per unit. Um, this particular problem I'm actually going to provide you with an equation for the price. So if price can be modeled with the equation P equals negative one-sixth X plus 100 then what would revenue equal? Well, revenue would be equal to the price, negative one-sixth x plus 100, times the number of units x. Now, of course, the fact that x is in the equation at all tells us that the price of the units has to do with the number that is sold, which is a basic um, concept of economics that um, the more you have to sell, the the I can't remember. The price is dependent on the number, you know, supply and demand. If you if if the supply is low, then you can actually charge more because there's a limited supply. Okay, so R as a function of x, let's simplify this by multiplying it together, would be negative one sixth x squared plus one hundred x. So there's our function for revenue. Then if they wanted us to answer some questions about revenue, like say for example, they were to ask the question, what is the revenue when 200 units are sold? That would mean that we are plugging 200 in for x into our function. So it would be R of 200 is negative 1 6 and we're just pl simply plugging in the 200 everywhere where there's an X in this function that we've created. And then we work it through. So negative 1 over 6 times this would be forty thousand, right? Plus 2 times 1 is another one, 4 zeros, but plus 20,000. Well, what's a sixth of 40,000? So we divide that by sixth and subtract it from the 20,000. we obtain a revenue of $13,333.33. We can also use this function to help us figure out when, um, what price would help us to obtain the largest revenue. So that would be finding a maximum. So since this is a quadratic, um, when will revenue reach a maximum.
In other words, how many units must be sold? So to do that, we look at our function that we figured out earlier. And we want to find the maximum, which is simply the vertex. So all we have to do is find the vertex value, which would be negative b over 2a. So the b is the number next to x, that would be 100, so negative 100 over 2 times a, and a is our negative 1 sixth. That means we're taking negative 100 and dividing by negative 1 third. Well, when you divide by fractions, we can copy dot flip. So copy the numerator, and then instead of dividing, we multiply the reciprocal of the denominator. So the maximum revenue is reached when 300 units are sold. What will that maximum revenue be? Well, that is the y value of our problem, so we plug that number in, r of 300, would give us that value. So negative 1 sixth times 300 squared plus 100 times 300 will equal fifteen thousand, well a negative fifteen thousand plus thirty thousand And so the revenue will be the difference between those, which is $15,000 will be brought in from selling those 300 units. And that's the maximum revenue with this particular revenue function.